Did Tria say what her surprise be? No, it wouldn't be much of a surprise if she did. Sarah's right. The best surprises are always surprises. Maybe Tria learned to fly. Oh. Well, that big surprise. Hello, kids. Nice Hello. to see you, Tria. So, what's the big surprise? Oh, Sarah, always to the point. Today, I'm taking you to my favorite place in all the Great Valley, my secret getaway. Oh, no. If it's secret, how we know about it? Because she's going to tell us. Right? Yes, please tell, tell us. Tell us. Is it? It's my secret... mud pool. Huh? huh? We're going to a mud hole? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn Come sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time. I think you kids are just going to love my secret mud pool. What's to love about mud? Oh, this mud is special. You'll understand when you sit in it. We're supposed to sit in the mud? Mm, and just let yourself go. Ah, oh, it might be nice to go and let myself go. Hmm. Oh, uh, me think, uh, uh... We were... Uh, in the middle of the game, stop the seed. And we did agree to finish it, right, Ducky? Uh, mud might be nice. Yup, yup, yup. But I know you cannot finish the game without me, so I will stay. <sighs> What's this? Hmm? I thought you'd be off having fun already. Dad, I don't want to go sit in some mud hole. Tria put a lot of thought into this little trip. If you don't go, I'll never hear the end of it. But, Dad... You're going. <sighs> I'll go. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Sarah. The sooner we go, the sooner we'll be on our way. And the sooner we can have fun. <sighs> Fun at a mud hole? Right. Here we are. Lovely, isn't it? Being here is even better now that we're here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just mud. <sighs> me glad we not at mud pool. Me no think mud good for wings. Now! Hey! Me got it, me got it! <sighs> It. Yeah, but I won't. Huh? Look like tooth. Like your tooth, Chomper. My tooth? On the ground? But my teeth are supposed to be in my mouth. Me agree, but that tooth definitely not in that mouth. My tooth! My tooth! My tooth! Does it hurt? No. You think it will? I am sure it will all be okay. Okay? Okay! What's next? An arm? A leg? My tail? Not my tail! What's happening to me? Me never hear of Tooth just falling out. Never? 
Never! Well, I have. Huh? And I wouldn't get too attached to that tail if I were you. Hmm. Oh, I am certain Chomper is very attached to his tail. Yup, yup, yup. It's true! I am! It starts with a tooth, and before you know it, a fella's turning to bones and falling to pieces. I don't want to turn to bones! It isn't up to you. Mark my words, by nightfall, you'll be nothing but a pile of bones. Wait! How do I get my tooth back in my mouth? Hmm... We could ask Mr. Thicknose. He's heard about all sorts of things. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You came to the right place, Chopper. I've heard of many ways to stick things together. No reason they wouldn't work on teeth. You think so? Certainly, my boy. Say I and open wide. And I'll take a look inside. With some sticky tree star juice. That old tooth should not come loose. I'll fix your tooth. Flower dust might do the trick. Maybe mud that's nice and thick. You know what? I'm sorry, son. I can't fix this one. Can't fix my tooth? Cannot fix his tooth. Sorry, it's the truth. Too bad it's the truth. He cannot fix your tooth. Try to please can't fix your I am sorry none of my sticky solutions worked. Until today, I've always tried to avoid direct experience with sharp tooth teeth. If only sharp teeth lived here, so I could ask them about teeth. Huh? <gasps> what about Ruby? Ruby? She doesn't have any teeth! But she's lived in the mysterious beyond, where there are lots of sharp teeth. Maybe she has seen this before. You think so? Mm-hmm. Ruby knows many things. She does. She does. Maybe she fixed tooth. But she's not here. And what if she's not back by nightfall? I could fall totally apart by then. Then we'll just have to go find her before that happens. Uh, not that it will happen. But we do not know where the mud pool is. Say, chomper good smeller. Maybe he follow Ruby's smell. I'll sure try. What kind of a three-horn sits in mud? It's just as silly to sit there and watch, Sarah. Good point. I won't watch anymore. <sighs> we have been going to the secret mud pool a while, but I do not know if we are getting there. Maybe that why Tria calls secret mud pool secret. We're okay, as long as Chompers got their scent. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> uh, this way. Are you sure? Tria go in there? That's what my sniffer says. Then we go in there too. Oop. This sure strange place for relaxing. I do not think I would be relaxed in here. No, no, no. 
<gasps> oh, it's not so bad. Ouch! Something bite, Petrie. Oh boy! A buzzing buzzer! <laughs> No, think they taste good, Chopper. Yeah. Mmm, spicy. Well, at least you scared the stinging buzzer away. Oh no, here he comes again. Boring. I could be with the others having fun. Stinging buzzers not follow us. Then we are safe. Fix it. Not if we can't find her. My sniffer led us into that cave. Oh no! Maybe my nose is going to fall off next. <gasps> hey, why didn't I think of it before? We can use the looking rock. Grandpa says you can see the whole Great Valley from the top. Sometimes me scare me. <laughs> Look, the mud pool, just beyond the murky swamp. That easy to find. Are you finished relaxing yet? Come on, Sarah, try dipping in one toe. 
fine. It's warm. Mmm, that's what makes it so nice. I didn't say it was nice. It's still dumb. <laughs> this is supposed to make me relax. <laughs> now that you're in, doesn't it feel good? Well, it's better than usual, Mud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this place not smell so good. If you lived here, I am sure you would get used to it. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, me not so sure. Right now, it wouldn't be so bad if I lost my nose. Hey! Oh no! Sinking sand! <coughs> Chopper, get out of there or sinking sand will pull you in. I'm trying. <coughs> <coughs> to us if you have sharp teeth or no teeth. That's right. You'll always be our friend, Chomper, no matter what. But what if Mr. Three Horns right and I turn to bones? The mud pools just past those trees. Maybe Ruby knows something. But Chomper does not want to leave his tooth, even if it is in the sinking sand. Me stay with Chomper. You go. Find Ruby and others. Thanks, Petrie. We'll be right back with Ruby. Uh, excuse me. Have you seen a fast runner with a spike tail and two three horns? Oh, hi, guys. What are you doing here? Sarah? It is you? Sarah, we have to find Ruby. It's important. Uh, follow me, please. Here we are. Ruby! We have been looking for you all day. Yup, yup, yup. Ah, uh, I'm right here. Of course, I'm always here, since here is wherever I am. Chomper needs your help! Huh? He's not far! Come on! Follow us! Follow us! You guys really need to relax. He's right here! Are you okay, Chomper? No. My tooth is gone. Forever! What? You interrupted our relaxing day for a tooth? A tooth? One day I try to relax. You guys come out here and spoil Now, now. I... We're just glad Chomper's not seriously hurt. 
Not hurt? I'm falling apart. Have you ever seen a sharp tooth with a missing tooth? Oh, yes. Huh? I've seen it more times than I care to see. <gasps> really? Why, sure, Chomper. You're going to lose all your teeth. All of them? <laughs> normal sharp teeth normally lose their teeth. So if you lost your tooth, you're a normal sharp tooth. I'm normal? Here, give me your claw. Feel that? That's your new tooth. New tooth? Yes, new tooth. And this new tooth will be new until you're old. Really? I feel so happy, I want everyone to see It's like the bright circle is shining inside of me I lost my <gasps> tooth some mud, and then a tooth, and now they're excited about the mud again. Hey! <laughs> get to sleep. Don't worry, Trisha. It's okay. Big tree star to keep us all dry. Oh. Oh. Oops. Me sorry. Look, Spike. The sky water makes the groundwater dance. <laughs> There sure is a lot of sky water coming down. That's sky water, Chomper. It just keeps coming down until it doesn't. Well, at least the secret caverns keep us safe from Red Claw. Which is good, since I promised your mom and dad I'd keep us safe from Red Claw. Yeah, and tonight they're keeping us dry, too. Huh? Look! The stone teeth are dripping! Let's see. Oh dear, now your tail is dripping. Ah! I gotta make it stop! Wait, Chomper! Oh no! Mm. Oh, I'll never get to sleep. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn Come sun. Come fall, Lord. 
Streams to climb and valleys to roam Oh, streams to follow all the way home To the land before time lasted it a long time last night. It did, it did. Well, me might like sky water if it's not so wet. Well, Petrie, the bright circle is out now, so it'll dry everything up. Right, Sarah? It better, little foot. My tree stars are soggy. <laughs> hey! Those tree stars are not yours to eat, dome heads. No, no, no. Hmm. Hmm. They are mine. They are. They are. What? Hey, now! <laughs> Those tree stars that aren't yours aren't yours! <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Ruby. Your big voice scared at those dome heads. It did. Thank you for the thank you, Ducky. <laughs> <laughs> Having tree stars to share is always good. Yep, yep, yep. Hello, my friends, my friends, hello. Hi, Hi Ruby. Ruby. <sighs> Hi. Hey, Chomper. What's wrong? Not much, I guess. I just need to find a new cave to live in. Hmm. There is always something wrong with Chomper's cave. Yup, yup, yup. Not always. Ruby and me are really happy our families let us stay in the secret caverns. Mm-hmm. Especially with Red Claw and his fast biters scaring everyone in the mysterious beyond. Okay, so what's wrong with your cave this time? It's leaky. It's a cave. How bad can it be? Come on, I'll show you. The water started coming in during the big sky water last night. I could not sleep with the dripping sound either. No, no, no. It was worse last night. Yes. Though there might have been less water if Chomper hadn't made those holes. Ugh. Yeah, so I thought we could go exploring and look for a new cave. Explore the, the secret caverns? I don't know, Chomper. It'll be fun, an adventure. I want to go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. I want to go adventuring and find a brand new cave. Will there be things with glowing eyes that use the dark as a disguise? Try catch Petrie by surprise! I don't think so! We'll look through caves both big and small See funny rocks Or a waterfall There's more to see Come on with me! So if you go adventuring, adventuring There's just one thing You know that you are going to Okay, too dark. We go back now. I think we should try this way. <laughs> okay, but the air is fresher this way. I think we should go the way we can see best. <laughs> hey, Spike, nice job. Yeah, yeah great. Right. <laughs> going the way we can see will let us see the way we're going. Sarah? I suppose. Okay, then let's go this way. Ruby, you said what I said, but biggerer. 
and everyone listened. If I could talk big, everyone would listen to me too. That would be good. <laughs> as long as the big isn't so big that you scare everyone. Like Red Claw? Yeah, like Red Claw. find a good cave. Good cave? <laughs> I don't think there is such a thing. Hey, guys, you have to see this. This is what we have to see. I think we can all fit. Follow me. <laughs> what is this place? It's a cave of many voices. Listen! Hello! 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 Wow, a talkback! A big talkback! Hauga! Hauga! Oh no! Oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was some roar, Ducky! Yeah, even I'm impressed! Oh, I sound big now! Yes, yes, yes! talk big in here, Ruby. Can you show me how to talk big in the Great Valley? You just think I talk big because I'm bigger than you. But if you were bigger than you, you'd talk bigger too. Hmm? But then... it wouldn't be big to you. Then, can you try to help me talk big? Please? I guess I can try. <laughs> <laughs> Me, great flyer! 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 Woohoo! full of stinkily buzzing things you might like. Gee, that sounds great! Then let's go! things were spicy, but good. Uh, not sure me want to hear details, but you're welcome. So who's ready to go explore the cavern some more? Uh, uh. <clears throat> we're still eating, Chomper. You flat teeth sure take a long time to eat. Say, Chomper, why don't you go on ahead and we'll catch up with you? Great idea, Littlefoot! Uh, where Ruby and Ducky? <sighs> Ducky, I've thought about it, and here's what I think. To talk big, you need to feel big inside. So if you can think big, you can talk big, too. I can think of big things, like that tree. It is big. Good. 
now be the tree. <gasps> oh, I cannot be a tree. No, no, no. But you can pretend to be as big as the tree, right? Oh, pretend. I am a tree! Okay. Now that you're feeling big, let's talk big. Like this. Fill your body big with air. <gasps> and you let it go from there. Open wide so you can say that you're feeling big today. I'm talking big. One more try. Stand up straight, now don't be shy. Your big voice will make you proud. Let it sing out loud. I am talking big. Now you're talking big. Big, like a big, big tree. Really, really big. Big like Soros Rock. Big like the biggest Ooh. big. Hello, my friends, my friends, hello. Hi, Ruby. Er, Ducky? May I have some tree stars? Oh, yeah, sure. Here. Hey, are you trying to talk differently, Ducky? <gasps> oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, yes. I, I mean, yes, Sarah. Since I feel big now, I am going to talk big, too. Well, it might be more convincing if you were a little taller. She'll be taller one day. Guys! Guys! Guess what? I found a new cave to live in. Come on, you gotta see it! Uh, gee, Chomper. It's... Pretty nice. Yeah, for a cave. Don't you just love it? And best of all, no stone teeth! <laughs> 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 Someone else is in the secret caverns. Well, there's only one way to find out who it is. That whole spike made seems a lot bigger. That's the mysterious beyond out there. Oh no, it's Red Claw. Spiders. <laughs> Let's go. We don't want them to see us up here. We cannot let those sharp teeth stay in here. No, no, no. <sighs> don't talk big now, Ducky. Oh, Sarah! Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> now what? Maybe Ruby and I could hold off Red Claw while you guys get help. Hold him off? Like an appetizer? Ugh. Listen, we gotta stick together. If only the Cave of Many Voices could make our bodies as big as it makes our voices. Ducky, that's it. Remember how your big talkback scared Petrie? Oh, me remember that. If we lead Red Claw and his fast spiders toward the Cave of Many Voices, we can go inside and make it sound like there are more of us. And bigger of us. Uh, we roar like we big and angry? No problem. Not problem for you. So brave, Ducky. Yeah, we never make it into cave without you sneaking in first. <laughs> Sometimes being little is better than talking big. But I know I will always be big in here. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs>
guess. I'd guess a belly dragger. <laughs> 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 and you are a hopper, Spike. You are, you are. You make a shadow, Petrie. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Uh, I think it's Petrie being nervous. Do not be afraid of the shadows we are making, Petrie. Me not afraid of Ducky Shadow. Me afraid of that. <laughs> I've seen anything like that before. Oh, no, no, no. It sure is strange looking. <laughs> what could it be? Me not know, but me think it got Sarah. <laughs> All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn Come sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time. I take that shortcut. Sarah? <sighs> oh, I'm glad it's you, and not the you I thought was you. <sighs> Why are you guys just standing there? <sighs> Hello, can someone help me get this thing off my horn? <sighs> Come on, everybody, let's pull! Ruby, are you okay? <sighs> oh, my! My star! Me sometimes see stars when me fall. No, my star day star. Look, it's the one right there. It's special because it can only be seen three nights between cold times. Once the star is a foot away from the night circle, it will be my star day. A star day? What's that? A star day is the day you hatched. My mom said that same star appeared in the same place on the same day I hatched. Oh, yeah. It was your star day the day we left the mysterious beyond. Happy Star Day, Ruby. I'm glad we could spend this Star Day together. Me too, Mom. Just saying I love you doesn't say how much I love you. Oh. And we love you too, Ruby. I already miss you, and I haven't even left. Well, you must learn how Chomper's friends in the Great Valley work together. Yes, Ruby. That knowledge could one day save us all Red from... Claw! Kids. Yes, Ruby. Come on, Ruby! This way!
Great Valley's this way. Come on. <sighs> Let's go. Day was the last day I saw my family. Sorry. Star days with my family were always so happy that thinking about it makes me sad. I didn't mean to make you sad, Ruby. Come on, let's play some more shadow games. <laughs> Thanks, Chomper, but I don't feel like playing anymore. Understand. Ruby not alone. She with us. But we're not her family. It's just not the same. She misses them very much. She does. She does. I'm going to go cheer her up. Let's not make it worse. Star Day today, Ruby. And it's important for you to be clean for your special celebration. <laughs> After all, a Star Day is a very happy occasion. <sighs> Why does thinking about happy Star Days make me feel so sad? I didn't mean to make Ruby sad. I was trying to make her happy. Hey, I have an idea. Let's have a giving ceremony for Ruby. That is a very good idea. It is, it is. <laughs> and we can make it a surprise. <laughs> Me love surprise. <laughs> wait, everybody, wait. Um, what's a giving ceremony? A giving ceremony is when you give someone their favorite food, duh. <laughs> a giving ceremony is a time for celebrating friendship, giving, <laughs> and also sharing. So what's Ruby's favorite food? I know that! It's sweet bubbles! Oh, yes, yes, yes! Sweet bubbles are her favoritest. They are! Then we'll go get them at the first sign of the bright circle. Yeah, we'll give Ruby the best star day ever. What if Ruby finds us? The surprise will be ruined. Ruby's busy washing, so now's the time to go. Where are we going to find sweet bubbles around here? They don't exactly grow on trees. No, but they grow on vines hidden in the sheltering grass. Sh sheltering grass? <laughs> no, 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 no. It doesn't matter where they grow. If they'll make Ruby happy, we'll go anywhere to get them. Right? Right. Right? right. Let's go. Funny thing, it makes me think of time gone by. A glad hello, a sad goodbye. Thoughts I'll always hold dear. Remembering makes me appear for good, for bad.
we too close to Mysterious Beyond? Don't worry, Petrie. We'll be fine. Sweet Bubbles. Get your own somewhere else. We came for Sweet Bubbles, and we're leaving with Sweet Bubbles. Got it? <laughs> Ew. That was gross. What we do now? I'm a sharp tooth. I can scare him away. <laughs> that even grosser. What if we tell him why we need the sweet bubbles? He's too busy eating to listen. I think it's worth a try. Excuse me. We would like to have some sweet bubbles for our friend Star Day. <gasps> they are her favoriteest food. Star Day? Did you say Star Day? Why, I've loved my Star Day ever since I was a hatchling. Take as many as you like. like a star day to make you feel nice and <laughs> happy. Maybe 
I can't be with my family, but I can be with my friends. And if I'm not alone, I won't feel alone. But first, I have to find everybody. Let's make a giving place. Shouldn't someone who knows a little more about giving ceremonies be the one giving the orders? Chomper? Littlefoot? It is Ruby! Oh, no, no, no! Ducky, Chomper, let's go stall her! Sarah, you finish setting up! Hmm. <gasps> hello, my friends! My friends, hello! Uh, oh, hi, hi Ruby. Ruby! Ruby? Is there something wrong? Uh, no, we're just, uh... uh coming back from a long walk, and, um... We are very tired. We are, we are. Oh, well, I was hoping we could all get together and play together. Well, we should probably take a rest. Maybe later. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll just go to my thinking place to watch my Star Day star. I guess a lonely star day is better than no star day. Because if I didn't have a star day, then I wouldn't have hatched. And not hatching would be much lonelier than a lonely star day. <gasps> oh no! Earthshake! where we were going to have your giving ceremony. We even got your sweet bubbles. <laughs> These were for you, Ruby. Sorry your star day isn't so happy. Mm, but it is happy. It is? Sure, you didn't have to do what you did, but you did.
know, I may not be with my family, but I sure do feel at home.